are some of the themes that you're seeing this year? Uh, clean, real crisp, uh, vibrant colors, mm -hmm. mixtures of textures, whether it's linens, velvets, chenilles, uh, layered colors. Now, as far as finishes go, what's the theme for finishes this season? Charcoals, light grays, smoke. Uh, we're seeing this, this little lighter palette, uh, mm -hmm. weather gray. I think cleaner contemporary themes, uh, mixing creative decorative styles with a really clean line contemporary look. There's been a push towards reclaimed finishes, um, but that are a little bit more refined. So you're seeing less barn wood and grayed out old stuff, and, but you're still taking those reclaimed materials, just doing a higher level of finish on them. We use um, 19th century European wood. Um, we've t we're taking the wood, we're combining it with glass, with galvanized metal, mm -hmm. um, iron, a lot of mixed media. Um, and we're really using those elements. We're doing chalk paints and um, milky glass. And the layer upon layer mm -hmm. of materials is what we're finding interesting. A lot of nature-inspired items. <laughs> so I've been seeing um, rock sculptures, a lot of agates, a mm -hmm. lot of marbled um, patterns. I love, there's a marble wallpaper that's beautiful. Um, so a lot of things that, that are very reminiscent of nature in its, in its own environment, which mm -hmm. has been really cool. I think it's a mix of, of sort of a luck and a, and a really sort of earthy quality. So we'll see a lot of that in my collection and a lot in Arteria's home in general. Things made by hand are always a, a play a big role in my interior design and what I design for Arteria's home. So we'll see a lot of hand-finished items, um, hand-woven things, and um, even some hand-blown glass, which is fantastic. I think that there's a, a tremendous uh, vibe towards glamorous and opulence and durability at the same time. I see a lot of fabrics being high performance as well as gorgeous and luxe and rich. and A little bit like that sofa we saw. Yeah, yeah. that you could hose it down after if it got stained. What are you seeing this season in terms of finishes? I think this market's very dichotomous. I think that there's like two different things going on. We have a, like a lot of scrubbed and rubbed and, and raked Ceruse finishes, as well as this high gloss, high polish, Hollywood Regency glamour at the same time. So, and I also see the combination of those two now. For the first market, we're seeing, you know, the high gloss and the rakes put together, which is kind of cool. We're going toward the richness again. We're seeing tassels. Mary McDonald has the new line out yeah. with all kinds of new tassels on it, and and trims and you know the, the cabbage roses are back yeah. and the prints and matching all the furniture to the wall to the curtains to the you know, the pillows, everything. So I think we're kind of going back to that 80s formality in design. And we're seeing people wanting to live real. So put their toes in something plush and deep, kick back in something that's inviting. So sofas are getting linear, long, but a little plumper, and the rugs are getting just less refined mm -hmm. and a little bit more livable. Yeah, now in terms of materials and styles and colors and textures, what are you loving right now? What are you seeing? I mean, it's all over the board. Part of me still is a naturalist, and I love some of the hemps and some of the naturals that are mm -hmm. coming up. I love layering them. I like putting a, a jute rug down with even a fine needlepoint rug. So I think that unexpected Expected layering is really sexy and on trend and fun. And then I also love just the shags that are coming up today and this nod to the past, this kind of tribute to retro, but maybe with new saturated juiced up colors. It's an exciting time because it's, it's, um, it's not one dimensional anymore. Yeah. You don't have to hit it just right. You have to layer it to be just you. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a much more exciting time to live inside your own home. So we hope you've enjoyed the tour of High Point Market and gathered some amazing ideas for your own home. I'm Kelly Edwards with Editor TV, and we look forward to seeing you back here in the fall.